Handoff goes to Kylie Townsley. Has that one rejected by Brooke Ridley. Yeah, I mean, I'm really happy that we got the win. I mean, that's that's what we came to do first and foremost. But, I mean, I, I think this game was like what our season has been. You know, it's like we show these flashes of being really good, you know, and I think we've probably put, you know, six quarters, if you count the Taylor game in this first half here, it's just outstanding defense and, and being very hard to guard, uh, very hard to score against. And then, you know, the, the second half was some of the stuff that we've ran into this year. And, you know, we're going to have to do a much, much better job of handling the ball versus pressure and, and you know, making plays when we have it on there. We just make we just make some silly mistakes. But I mean, with that being said, we, we hung in there. And you know, when that lead goes from 24 down into single digits, then you start second guessing yourself. And um, you know, thankfully, thankfully we hung on long enough to win. Coach Brooke Ridley, the two-time All-American, picked up her 10th double-double. Uh, can't say enough about the play of Brooke Ridley this year. Your thoughts? I mean, the, the best thing about her is, she, is she's just so dependable. You know, it's like you know what you're going to get from her every night. You know she's going to rebound. You know she's going to defend and block shots. And, you, you know, you know that, that, that she's going to finish inside. I mean, I, I think the thing that gets frustrating about these kind of games is that, you know, it's kind of like when, when we get ourselves caught up into a, a full court game and we don't do a very good job of getting her the ball. And, you know, we are definitely at our best when we are getting her the ball. And she's, she's a heck of a player. I feel very lucky to coach her. I mean, she's just she's a, she is a numbers machine, and, and she's, a, she's a good teammate too. Now you get the opportunity to travel to Indiana Wesleyan to take on a tough Lady Wildcat squad. But, Coach, this could be a huge win uh, for the team right now at this point. What's kind of the message heading into that game uh, for the Lady Cougars? Well, I, I mean, I think as much as anything is that we've moved ourselves into a great position in the conference. You know, after tonight, we're sitting 5-2, and two, and uh, Indiana Wesleyan is also 5-2. and two, And I know they have a, a great tradition, and it's a program that we really respect. But, I mean, you know, we're, we're in a position where we can we can – Put our stamp on the conference race, and you know, I, I think it's a little bit early for us to be getting hyped up about it right now. But you know, so we'll take tonight and get ourselves iced up. But coming in tomorrow, I know our girls are really excited to play them. I know our girls are really excited to, um, to get over there and compete. This is this is a big rivalry for them, and and again, a lot of that comes out of the respect that we have for them. But yeah, we're we're going to be looking forward to it, and you know, it's it's kind of how we've approached a lot of things this season. You know, expectations are down on us a little bit, and we just have to go over there and fight and get our respect, and and hopefully get ourselves moved back into that top 25 here pretty quick. Um, but you can't talk about respect if you can't go beat good teams. And Indiana Indiana Wesleyan is one of those really good teams, and so we got to go over there and take care of business. But it's, it definitely will not be easy. Second rebound of the game. Remember, she's second in the Crossroads League with nine double doubles. Haley Hensley in the lane hits it with the right hand. That's her first bucket of the game. When, when the shot's going in like it was, how great were you feeling? I mean, I was feeling good, and I can always tell when it comes off my hand if it's going in. I was just feeling it, and I was just letting it go. So I was, I was excited, and I just kept shooting. Coach gave me the green light, so I just kept shooting. We'll talk about this game, a 24-point lead at the half, and then we got 10.4 seconds left, and the, it's a three-point game. They came back from behind some three-point shooting by Amy Conkle, but what was that like? You know, before we talked about this team, this team plays hard for 40 minutes. Like, we knew that 24-point lead wasn't, like, they were going to come out playing hard, so we knew that they were a hard team, and they play hard, and we knew we couldn't give up, and they started to come back. But we had a crucial, crucial five-second call right there. Like, that was an excellent defensive effort by my team, and I'm so proud of us. Absolutely. Paige Frisch guarding the inbounds pass and causing that turnover was great. Now you head to Indiana Wesleyan. We know what this rivalry has been about, but you're right up there in the Crossroads League with Wesleyan. Obviously, Marion's on top with Goshen, but this could be a real statement win. Um, obviously, you're going to enjoy this, but what's, what's, what's kind of the team's thoughts heading into Saturday? Um, the team's thoughts, we really have nothing to lose. I mean, we're the underdogs, but I mean, it would be a big, big statement game for us. I mean, we're not ranked anymore, and this would be a big, big, big statement game for us. So, I mean, we're going to come out, we're going to feel good after this win, and we're going to work hard these next few days in practice, and hopefully it'll carry on Saturday. Do you think the, the team feels like they can get a win against Indiana Wesleyan or get a win against a Marion or a Goshen? Oh, for sure. Oh, for sure. The Marion game, we were right there. The Goshen game, we were right there. We just let them, we just let them right out of our hands. So I, we feel like we can compete with the best of the best. So we're just going to see. It's going to be a dogfight for sure. Quarter, 4.30 left to play. Jackson driving with the left. Left-handed shot falls in. <laughs> What a great drive by Kyla Jackson now with a team high 13 points.